today we'll see h pylori what is the role of h pylori in the peptic ulcer and what is the anti h pylori regimen so first of all what is h pylori it's a gram negative rod or it's a gram negative bacillus it is uniquely adapted to the survival in the hostile environment of stomach as you can see it is uniquely adapted in the hostile environment of the stomach that means it will get attached to the surface epithelium beneath the mucus as you can see here there is a epithelial damage there is a epithelial damage because it will get attached to the surface epithelium because it will get attached to the surface epithelium it may lead to the inflammation it may lead to the inflammation or epithelial damage and this h pylori possess very high urease activity that will produces the ammonia that will produces the ammonia that maintains the neutral micro environment around the bacteria and that will promote back diffusion of the h plus ions or the proton right h pylori it possesses the high urease activity that's why it produces the ammonia that will maintain the neutral micro environment around the bacteria and it will promote the back diffusion of the h plus ions and this h pylori it will found it has been found as a normal commensal in 20 to 70% of the normal individual it will found as a commensal in your stomach or in your mucosa as a normal commensal and it is found that it is a important contributor in the causation of chronic gastritis dyspepsia peptic ulcer gastric lymphoma gastric carcinoma it is a important causative organism in chronic gastritis dyspepsia peptic ulcer gastric lymphoma gastric carcinoma so this h pylori infection starts with a neutrophilic gastritis your neutrophilic count neutrophils will get increase neutrophilic gastritis that will last for 7 to 10 days and that time it is usually a symptomatic but once that infections get established that h pylori will persist for the life of the host once it will get in your stomach in will you gastric mucosa in your surface epithelium it will remain in your stomach for the whole life up to 90% of the patient of the duodenal and gastric ulcer have tested positive for the h pylori 90% of the peptic ulcer patient in that patients h pylori is the main causative organism eradication of the h pylori along with the proton pump inhibitor therapy of peptic ulcer has been associated with the faster ulcer healing and that will prevent the recurrence of the ulcer relapse right it will prevent the ulcer relapse anti h pylori agents anti h pylori agents that we know means you can use what you can use you can use h2 receptor blocker proton pump inhibitor and anti h pylori agents like metronidazole clarithromycin amoxicillin and that would suffice to cure the peptic ulcer means in triple drug regimen there is a one h2 receptor blocker one proton pump inhibitor and there is anti h pylori like you have metronidazole or clarithromycin or amoxicillin you have to use one of them after completion of the above regimen proton pump inhibitors you have to use for at least 6 week to enhance the ulcer healing to enhance the ulcer healing now we'll see what are the various drugs that we can use means you can use the proton pump inhibitors any proton pump inhibitor there is a one week regimen there is a two week regimen in both regimen you can use a proton pump inhibitor like omeprazole isomeprazole lansoprazole pantoprazole rabeprazole any one of them right 
along with amoxicillin clarithromycin metronidazole not all you have to use any one of them means you have to use amoxicillin clarithromycin or metronidazole or you can also use tinidazole right there is a one week regimen there is a two week regimen means these are the drugs that you can use for the at least one week or at least two week and after that you can use proton pump inhibitors for at least six week for the faster ulcer healing for the faster ulcer healing right means antimicrobials that are used clinically against h pylori are the amoxicillin clarithromycin tetracycline tetracycline you can also use metronidazole or tinidazole but any single antibiotic is ineffective because there's a chance of development of resistance especially to the metronidazole especially to the metronidazole tinidazole clarithromycin there is a chance of development of resistance but resistance to amoxicillin is less frequent right so you have to use them in combination you have to use them in combination you can use the colloidal bismuth substrate why colloidal bismuth substrate because it has nth pylori activity nth pylori activity so you can use colloidal bismuth substrate also now we'll see the triple drug regimen for 14 days for two weeks what is triple drug regimen or triple drug therapy you can use lansoprazole 30 mg bd clarithromycin 500 mg bd and amoxicillin 1 gram bd you can triple drug regimen in triple drug regimen there is a clarithromycin and amoxicillin you have to use them in combination and lansoprazole not only lansoprazole you can use any other proton pump inhibitor like omeprazole isomprazole pantoprazole and in quadruple drug therapy or quadruple regimen that is used for again 14 days in that you can use lansoprazole 30 mg twice a day bismuth substrate 525 mg four times a day tetracycline 500 mg twice a day metronidazole 500 mg thrice a day so these are the four drugs that's why quadruple therapy for the 14 days why two antibiotics are used in combination for the prevention of recurrence or for the prevention of development of resistance if you are using single antibiotic there is a chance of development of resistance so better you use two antibiotics at a time which are effective against n which are effective against h pylori which are effective against h pylori and mostly these are two week regimen that means 14 days therapy either triple drug therapy or quadruple therapy in the triple drug therapy there is lansoprazole clarithromycin and amoxicillin in quadruple therapy there is a lansoprazole bismuth substrate tetracycline and metronidazole you can use tinidazole instead of metronidazole also